we got us a gopher. Hey folks, welcome back to the Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how I take care of gophers uh, using these black box gopher traps and a little piece of rebar. If you have PEX pipe buried underground anywhere on your property that you run your water supply through or underneath your house and all your plumbing's done with PEX and you see these little mounds around, you better get rid of them as fast as you can because those gophers will eat right through that PEX pipe and it's very expensive to have a plumber come out and uh, repair that. What they can't get to under your slab, they have to run the next smaller size of PEX through that pipe and you lose your capacity of whatever you had before. And if they ever get in there and chew through it again, uh, you're basically out of service. You're gonna have to bust out concrete and replace that pipe that way. And that would be very expensive. So these traps don't cost much. It's pretty easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to figure out uh, where their tunnel is and get these traps set and take care of your gopher problem. So let's get started. Okay, so typically on these mounds, they're gonna be an oblong shape and where they push the dirt out is usually in one of these ends. So if it came up here, the tunnel's gonna be sort of that direction. If it came up here, it's gonna be more this way. So I'm gonna probe around and try and find where their dirt tunnel is that they pack the dirt up into this. And when I find out which side it's on, I'm gonna probe around in that area and try and find the tunnel that goes back and forth between these two mounds. So I'm gonna try this area first. Sometimes you can go with your fingers and find it where it came up. I'm not feeling any soft spots there, so I'm guessing it's gonna be right here. Yeah. So right there is a soft spot in that mound. So that tells me the tunnel is in this area right in here somewhere and they're pushed the dirt up and out and, and pushed it this direction. So I'm gonna probe right in here and try and find this tunnel that goes over that direction. I think I hit it on the very first one. I believe it's right there. This ground's pretty hard. So I'm gonna go get my shovel now and dig this up and try and find the tunnel going both directions. Okay, I gave up on that side. I couldn't find the tunnel, so I'm gonna try over here. So right there's the soft spot. Sure feels like there's a tunnel right there.
found one of them right there. Okay. Okay, the ground is so dry, their tunnels are really deep. So what I found here is a tunnel heading this direction and a tunnel heading that direction. So I'm gonna excavate down and open this up so I can get traps in here. I need to make my hole a little bigger. Okay. I couldn't find the tunnel over there, but what I figured out is the tunnel is really deep because the ground is dry and hard. So I did locate it over here. Try and get a shot in here. So right there, you can see one direction and going the opposite direction is the other side of that tunnel. So what we're gonna do is put a Victor black box on both sides of the tunnel. Uh, so Whichever side of the tunnel the gopher's on, it's not going to matter. So I'll give you a shot of how I set this. So this is the Victor Black Box. I got mine on Amazon. I think I bought them in a package of four or five. I don't know. Seem like they're about six or seven dollars a piece. But uh, they're readily available on Amazon. I have not seen these like at any uh, brick and mortar stores that you can buy. So what you do, it's basically a reverse mouse trap. You have to push this down and it goes down inside like that. And this little, just like a, mouse, a lever on a mouse trap, this, this is the, what holds it. You flip that over and put the trigger right underneath it like that so there you can see how it's set so when the gopher goes into it he goes towards the end where it's a dead end and he runs into this little wire loop and when he does it catches him right there and that's the end of the gopher so i'm going to set both of these in the hole and usually i have a uh, luck within the first you know hour or two if the gopher's there. So let's get them set and I'll show you what they look like after they're in the hole. Okay, this one's set. So I'm gonna set the other one. Man, it is hot out here. There's no breeze at all. See how I set that? They're real easy to set. Probably easier than a mouse trap. So I'm gonna put this one on this side first. So again, the hole is going straight that direction. I imagine it makes a turn and goes over there towards that other mound. So uh, something I noticed when I put it in there, there's not a clear uh, there can't be anything in the way of this traveling up or it'll slow it down and you'll miss the gopher. So I got to clean this out just a hair on the top. So it's a nice flat wall to sit against. I got a root in there too. I need to get out of the way.
Okay. Uh, still. There we go. I'm going to put this one right here over this hole. There's a little bit of an opening on the top of this one, so I'm going to put a little piece of dirt over that to clog that up. So the gopher won't try to come up around the trap, he'll go into it. And this one looks good. I'll get you a close up of that. Okay, sun's behind a cloud. I'll hurry up and get this while there's no shadow. So you can see how they're both set there. And the way you tell that they've gone off is that lever will be up. So it's real easy. And uh, these traps don't miss very often. Most of the time when I see that lever up, you've got your gopher. Sometimes they will push dirt back into it and set it off, but that's the only time I've ever seen them miss. So we got our traps all set. We'll come back in a little bit and check them and uh, see what we got. If we don't have anything by this evening, uh, we'll check them again tomorrow. So uh, we'll catch you in a little bit. Okay, it's uh, about 10 o'clock in the evening and I came out to check these gopher traps. And uh, we'll show you what we got here. So you can see this back one here is tripped and uh, I can see fur. So we got us a gopher in there and uh, I need to take care of that this evening uh, before we let our dog out in the morning because she will uh, definitely find that and it'll be on the front porch. So <laughs> I'm going to get that gopher out of there and take care of him. So if you like this video on how we catch gophers here on the Jerome Bee Farm, give us the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Later.